Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson, and uh, today we're going to talk about how do we solve an inequality by using addition or subtraction. And so uh, let's just get after it. All right, the core concept here is, uh, in words, the addition property of inequality is adding the same number to each side of an inequality produces an equivalent inequality. So for example, if a negative 3 is less than 2, and we add 4 to each side, well, negative 3 plus 4 is 1, 2 plus 4 is 6, so 1 is less than 6, it's still a true inequality. And if negative 3 is greater than or equal to a negative 10, and we add 3 to both sides, we get 0 is greater than or equal to a negative 7, which again is a true inequality. And so we're going to apply this to uh, solving inequalities. So if we look at this, we have b minus 2 is greater than a negative 9. Well, this first one, if I want to get rid of the negative 2, I'm just going to add 2 to each side, just like we've been doing when we've solved equations. So we get b, the negative 2 and the positive of 2 cancel out, is greater than negative 9 plus 2, different signs subtract. Take the sign of the larger number, your sum will be exact. And now, we want to graph this solution because if b is greater than a negative 7, that's a lot of numbers to write down. So we put this on a number line. And what I would like you to do, if you have to create your own number line, I like to go in order. So I have negative 7, then a negative 8, and negative 6. So I want to go in order from least to greatest. So with the negative numbers, it goes negative 8, negative 7, negative 6. It's greater than, so I know it's just an open circle, and then it's shaded to the right. Okay. Now I'm going to do number 2, and we'll slide this one over here. So I have m minus 3 is less than or equal to 5. Now again, we just go ahead and solve for m by adding 3 to both sides. Again, the negative 3 and the positive 3 cancel out, so I get m is less than or equal to 8. And now I graph this. So I like to put the 8 in the middle, and then I surround it by 7 and 9. So I have 7, 8, 9. Now this is an equal to, so that means I have to color that dot in. And then it's to the left, so I'm going to shade to the left then. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and erase these before I do number 3. Now, if we look at number 3, again, now we have 1 fourth is greater than y minus 4, 1 fourth. And so to get the y by itself, I have to add 1 fourth to each side. So I'm going to add 1 fourth to each side. The good news is these already have a common denominator. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 2 fourth is greater than y. And I like to reduce the 2 fourths to 1 half. But now if we're going to graph this, we want to make sure we rewrite this so the variable is on the left side. So I'm going to rewrite it so the y is on the left, the 1 half is on the right, and now since the alligator mouth is eating the 1 half, when I rewrite it, I have to make sure the alligator mouth is eating the 1 half. And now we go ahead and we graph this. And when we graph fractions or decimals, I like to put the two whole numbers or integers that the surround the fraction. In this case, now put the fraction in. Now it's open. And now that we have it written in this order, it's going to be y is less than, so I shade to the left. 